Prepare to enter the catacomb. Again. For indeed, there are three games in the series of Catacomb 3D. Catacomb Abyss was the first, and the second was hinted at at the very end of the game, when we defeated Nemesis. For you can't keep a good Nemesis down, and once more, Nemesis is up to his nefarious tricks once again. Softdisk Publishing presents a Softdisk Publishing production for once more. Petten Everhale must do the seemingly impossible and defeat his nemesis. Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play The Catacomb Armageddon, the sequel to The Catacomb Abyss. There is little more to say apart from the fact that these are the people that did the programming. And we'll just wait for it to cycle through again. The art production was done by these people. And if we wait a bit more, the quality assurance was done by these people. Anything else? Designed and produced by Greg Malone. Anything else? No, it just sort of cycles through. Dare you challenge the great nemesis as novice or warrior? I think we've been through this before, nemesis, so um, let's go with warrior again. Good! I love the taste of warrior's blood, even though I only got to taste it briefly last time. You stand before the gate leading to the town of Morbity, with an E, so you know it's the Middle Ages. Enter now boldly to defeat the evil nemesis deep inside the catacombs. You could have picked somewhere different, you know. Not a catacomb, an evil castle, a parallel dimension. But never mind. We are now about to enter a new area, and we are now wearing red robes rather than blue. We are indeed at the entrance to the town of Morbity. Unfortunately, we can't get in just yet. We need to go and find the entrance. And we now don't fire uh, the magic missiles that we had before, because these ones are more zappy. And you feel a cold breeze here, and you need a red key. And the, uh, feeling of breeze was a hint that you need to, uh, blow something up there to find a secret way. Let's see if we can, uh, that is the entrance to the town, and we don't want to go in there just yet. We want to find secret things. Like over here, where we actually can't do anything in particular, and we need to go and, uh, actually enter into places. This door is permanently blocked. Yeah, they don't want us going in here whatsoever, so we're just gonna, uh, head this way instead. But we need a green key to even do that, so uh, we need to go and find these uh, keys in these areas. Like that there. And a key that'll also be, I imagine, in here. So we'll just explore these areas to the side. Excellent. Any enemies? At all? Ah, there are zombies! And this time, they have hair. Which doesn't make them any more dangerous, but it does make them look a little different. Any of these blow up? I imagine that some of them might. We need a blue key to get access to that area, so we just need to find where the uh, entrance to that is. It could be around here. There we go! And there is another of the uh, keys that we need. Also, the chests are very slightly different colours. And now we're starting to stock up on all the things that we were missing from before, like zappers and exterminators and everything else that we need to win. For now, however, we're going to go and head back the way we came, and head through this door, so that we can go find more things. We need to find gems, and we also need to find everything else that we could possibly- Hello! For there was a zombie on one side, there will be a zombie on the other side too. And there is a- Ooh, not only is there a key here, there is also a gem. Very nice of them to give us that right away. And there's no door here to unlock, which is curious. There's a door here to unlock, though. We'll see what's in here. It looks like there's lots and lots of loot that we uh, most certainly want. So we're going to go over here and grab it. As usual, the game is giving us loads and loads of zappers early on. And as you can see, there's not much that's different in this game as opposed to the uh, the Western Chamber of Secrets. There is uh, nothing really uh, different compared to the first game. It looks different, certainly, but... Uh, only some of the things look different. Everything- Oh, that is a new enemy, though. 
That is a new enemy. That is a giant bug. And this bug is probably exactly the same in functionality as another enemy. And they still twitch even when they're dead. That is not encouraging. What is this? I have no idea what this is. Oh! That opens up into a, uh, into an enemy. That is new. That is new. Maybe I could have zapped that before that happened. Who knows? But I didn't want to blow that up. So we'll grab these, uh, exterminators that we're given in the hidden lair. Not that I know what that key is used for, but I imagine we might have needed it. So we're just going to, uh, head into this area and go to the other opposite location. Everything else is entirely the same, with the uh, controls being identical, and uh, we've already been in this hidden storeroom, haven't we? We need to go a different route. Like down here instead. Already we're starting to get lost in one of the simpler levels. Yeah, we've already been through there, and so it's in here... And that's the hidden storeroom. Maybe there is no exit! We're stuck here forever! Or I just need to go that way instead. Yep, I could just go that way instead. Good plan, Everhale! Let's head into this area, which probably has more zombies in it. The Cathedral Hall. There's a zombie there. Excellent. And lots of loot. They obviously knew we were coming, and decided to stock up on all the things that Everhale needs. That was not really much stuff, but hey, I'll take it. What else do we have? Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. We have one more key, though. And hopefully that key is going to be... Ah! A secret. Full of zombies! At least the zombies aren't any more difficult than they were before. And there's another obvious secret. With one of those, um, eggs there. We'll just, uh, grab one of these very carefully and, uh, deal with these. Not using any of our zappers, we might as well just start stockpiling in advance for when the really dangerous enemies come along. Does look like there's something over here, though. And there was! Anything around here? What if we, we can't actually blow those up? They just sort of eventually hatch. That is something to know in the future. Also, we're just going to, uh, wait for this enemy to come round the corner. We can't actually see where that enemy is, either. We'll just, uh, zap this a few times. There we go. We want to make sure we don't, uh, lose anything that's on the other side. Like this key, for instance. Not that I know what this key actually does. We haven't found any doors that would be opened by it, but maybe we need two uh, keys to get through to the next level. And I think we came in this way. And I think we left... is it that way or is it this way? No, it's definitely that way. It's definitely that way. Let's not start getting lost again. Oh wait, we're starting to get lost again, aren't we? There's the eastern hallway. And the eastern hallway had that there. There we go! A little bit confusing, but eventually I figured it out. And that area is permanently locked. And this area is not. We use the green key that we really did need. So actually, it's not so much a hidden passageway as it is somewhere that we really, really needed to go. Also, there are a lot of bugs in here, so I get the feeling this leads over to the next level. There we go. Excellent. And there we go. Have we uh, found anything in here of any use? No, it would seem not. This area just had tons of enemies and a passage to the dark forest. Let's go. You enter a new area. It doesn't tell us what the area is this time around, but we sort of know it's the dark forest. Also, why don't we try go back the way we came? This door is permanently blocked. It would suck if other people wanted to get through here at some point. But that opens up. Also, you are an enemy. We're just gonna wait for you to get a bit closer, and then we're going to zap you. No tree- Okay, that tree is now on fire and in exceptional pain. We're just gonna move on here and, uh, pretend we didn't do that. Also, there are evil eyes staring at us from everywhere. Also, are you- Yep, you're still on fire. You are still on fire. I imagine it might hurt walking into that, because, uh, that is, a uh, fire. Walking into that will indeed hurt. Shall we test this? Yes. Walking into those burning tree monsters hurts. So we need to make sure that we, uh, 
kill these in such a way that they don't block ways we want to go through. Anywhere else? Ah, there's you. Hello. You're not currently active. Ah, you're active now, though. We're going to go this way, and, uh, have you, uh, basically, where are you? I don't know where you are. Also, the other ones... Ah, we need to be careful, because we don't want to block off that way. We don't want to have, uh, you there in a corner preventing us from progressing. There we go. We'll grab some of our first uh, cure potions of the, uh, of the actual game, because we haven't had many. Also, is there any... Ah, those explode. And there are bats. I'm not at all surprised that there are bats, but knowing that those explode now means that we can go back to this area and uh, deal with this. You don't explode, though. Also, you're trying to kill me. No. The trees will not kill me. I will not let them. And I don't want you to come to life. So I'm just going to very quickly grab these. And then, yep, you're starting to hit me. Also, I need to get past you so that I can uh, not have you um, set on fire in that area. It's worth taking a few hits to ensure that happens, because there's more stuff back here that I want. Mainly loot. We're going to have to be careful with the healing potions, though, as we don't have many of them. Also, there is you that I'm going to lure over this way a little. There we go. Uh-oh. That's a bad place to put you. That is a better place to put you. Also, time to heal. Do not want to die here, even though we only have four healing potions. And this way leads to a gem, which is very, very... Uh-oh. I was about to say it's very, very handy, but uh, you can go there. There we go. We're being very, very careful with uh, putting these in... Uh, also, there is a gem. And there's a forest exit right here, so actually you did need to get that gem at some point. Also, I really don't like these trees. We're just going to walk past you and pretend that you're not an enemy. Oh, wait, you're an enemy because you are moving. There we go. Now you're on fire. And hitting you doesn't actually do anything until you uh, activate. That kind of makes sense, but it's very obvious that you're going to because you're a very obviously evil tree. With an evil face. See? We stared at you long enough and then you decided to try and kill us. Let's see. Ah, you also are now trying to kill us. That did not work out in your favor. Also, you are also an evil tree that is trying to kill us. And now you are dead. You have all made terrible decisions, and you will burn forever. Because I don't think any of these flames ever extinguish. We need to find a key, that's what we need to do. There we go. Now you are burning, and we accidentally walked into you, and one blast destroys that. Also, there are a lot of evil trees here. And now that we have them on the radar, we can at the very least uh, notice when they're going to attack us. This is the cemetery of grief and sorrow, as opposed to the cemetery of not grief and sorrow. We'll just grab this here. Was there? There was nothing in there. Well, there's stuff in that one. There's really not many uh, cure potions, though. Hello. There you are. You have perished. And there's no way through here. We need to find a key. Specifically, we need to find... Okay, there are just lots of uh, things there that we've shot. And there was nothing here that would allow us to uh, progress. This is the forest opening, and this was an area where we'd already blasted our way through, the small clearing. And over there was nothing of any particular importance, I don't think. No, there was not. We'll just uh, very carefully move by... Ah! That will blow up. And in here is a solitary bat. But still, there's a few power-ups that we need. It's very obvious at this point, isn't it, that uh, Nemesis is involved. You don't even need... Ooh, hello. I'm just going to wait here for one of you to... Hello, there you are. You're going to activate, and uh, I'm going to be very careful about defeating you. And I might have accidentally uh, hemmed myself in, which is really bad. We're just going to have to walk through that, which is not really great, but uh, I'll take that over. Something is attacking us. There you are. Stop that right now. There we go. You have now stopped. Because you are now on fire. Also, yeah, we kind of need to walk through that. It's not going to hurt that much, though. Just a little. 
Was there anything in here? No, there was not. We need to find a key, though. That is what we need to find. A key. Just one. One solitary key. There's nothing there to blow up, and we haven't found a key yet. But we will do at some point, so we just need to sort of backtrack very carefully. For here's the forest exit, which we, uh, can't open because we need a green key. Just, uh, decided to check what colour key we needed, and that was a green one. Alright, nothing here. And over here was the northeastern clearing, and there were lots of things on- Ah, there's this area. Oh, there are a lot of evil trees here. Hello! Is the forest going to come alive and try and kill me? I think so. Hello? No? You, you, you don't feel like trying to kill me? No? Ah, you feel like trying to kill me! You've made a terrible- Oh, there's one there too. You're all making a terrible decision. Because I'm gonna kill all of you. And then have to very, very carefully navigate my way through. There you are. You have also made a terrible decision. And that terrible decision is trying to kill me. There's an enemy hitting me somewhere. And I need to make sure that enemy does not hit me. Also, don't come to life. Aha! It worked! You have not come to life. You will do at some point. There you are! It didn't take that long. And there are two more of you left. Are you going to try it as well, considering the fact that I'm killing absolutely everyone? I mean, this is not the best decision you guys have ever made. But you might as well. There's one of you! Okay, there's one of you left, and all of your compatriots are burning. Burning in agony. Do you really feel like you stand much of a chance? Do you? I'm gonna go this way, and you're not going to- Ah, no! You have made a terrible decision. I was almost going to let you live. But then you activated, and now we have to go into here where there are even more evil trees. And there's one of them activating already, and we accidentally backed up into a tree that was already on fire. These trees that are on fire are very, very tricky. The heart of darkness here. There's probably some kind of, uh, key here, I hope. There are three trees here, and two of them have already activated. There's one, there's another, and we need to back up very quickly so that we, uh, don't get killed by this one. There we go. What is in here that was worth finding? The answer is, hopefully, a key. Well, there's a bat. And a key! Brilliant. I think we'll heal here, and then slowly try and navigate our way out without burning to death. This seems like a pretty good i- there's a lot of burning trees. This is going to be precarious, because all these trees are on fire, and not liking that they're on fire. Then again, it's all your fault for attacking me. One green key used, and we are entering a new area. Where are we going? The answer is, we're going to here. The Garden of Forgotten Souls. That's not encouraging. Where are the enemies? I don't know. Can't see any just yet. Also, these slightly more damaged walls seem to be the ones that we need to open. So we're going to be very, very careful. In fact, we are going to save. Because we haven't saved yet. Ah! Bats. Bats are not that bad. We can deal with bats. What about over here? Does this sort of lead over to the same area? Let's find out. I saw something there. That did indeed look like a, a zombie, but there might be something else here. Oh wait, there's a zombie. And nothing else. I'm suspicious. I'm very suspicious that there's going to be some kind of enemy that I'm going to need to deal with that I haven't seen yet. There's a uh, blow-up wall there. A secret wall. They're almost not secret, because they're very, very obvious. Like that one there. Bunnies. I'm very suspicious of these. OH! THEY ARE NOT JUST BUNNIES! They are were-bunnies, who will transform into horrible things that will try and kill you. 
I was instantly suspicious of the bunnies. I was right to be suspicious of the bunnies. Alright, lesson learned. If you see bunnies, kill them. Kill them immediately, because they are horribly evil and want to kill you. And then this is when we found out that Nemesis has just decided, you know, forget skeletons. I'll just make the local wildlife try and kill him. It worked with trying to kill everyone else, but Petten Everhale has always distrusted bunnies. And so he was ready for them when they decided to strike. And when we come back, folks, we are in the Garden of Forgotten Souls. And we have this area over here to go to which might be full of killer bunny rabbits. Just maybe. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Those bunny rabbits. Never trust them. Unless they don't turn into massive werewolf-like things, or were-rabbit, more accurately. But don't trust them, Everhale would say. Don't trust them.